Did you know that the most successful people in the world have one thing in common? It's not just talent or luck, it's their ability to navigate life's challenges with unwavering resilience. If you want to truly thrive and excel in your personal and professional life, you need to cultivate resilience and self-discipline. These aren't just buzzwords, they're essential qualities that can transform your approach to life's ups and downs. In this video, we'll dive into why developing resilience is crucial for overcoming adversity and how self-discipline is the key to achieving consistency and reaching your goals. We'll explore practical strategies for embracing these qualities and uncover the surprising ways they can positively impact your life. So, if you're ready to discover the secret source that can propel you toward greatness, stick around. Let's debunk the myth that success is only for the naturally gifted and instead reveal the power of resilience and self-discipline in your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. 1. Read regularly for personal growth. Have you ever opened a book and felt the rush of possibilities that each page holds? It's a moment of quiet joy, sitting down with a cup of coffee, allowing yourself to be transported to a different world. Whether it's a gripping novel or a self-improvement guide, reading brings with it the potential to expand your mind in unimaginable ways. Picture yourself on a quiet Sunday morning immersing yourself in a story that not only entertains, but teaches you something new. It's in those moments of serenity that you begin to grow. Reading regularly is not just a habit, it's a pathway to personal growth. When you read, you're not only learning from the characters, stories and ideas, but you're also opening yourself to new perspectives. Books on philosophy might challenge your understanding of life, while those on science can ignite a sense of wonder about the universe. History books bring you face to face with the past, and fiction can weave lessons about humanity into its fabric. Reading gives you access to the wisdom of those who came before, allowing you to apply that knowledge to your own journey. Think back to a time when reading a book changed you, whether it was a classic like To Kill a Mockingbird or a more recent self-help bestseller. Remember how you felt when you turned the last page? A sense of accomplishment mixed with a curiosity to dive into the next book. Books have always been more than just entertainment. They are mentors, companions and guides. How many times have you been struck by a line or a passage only to realize it echoed thoughts you've had for years but never articulated? But the beauty of reading regularly doesn't end with nostalgia. It's about what yourself to be transported into another world, learning and growing with each turn of the page. There's something nostalgic about reading. Maybe it takes you back to childhood, flipping through comic books or reading before bed. Or perhaps it reminds you of a time when life was simpler and the act of reading was a gateway to escape into new ideas and stories. But beyond the nostalgia, Reading regularly is one of the most powerful habits for personal growth. It's like a secret superpower, one that anyone can tap into. Reading isn't just about the words on the page. It's about expanding your mind and worldview. Whether you're reading philosophy, history or fiction, books offer a wealth of knowledge that can change the way you see the world. Think about it. How many times have you read something that made you pause and think, I never saw it that way? That moment of revelation is the beauty of reading. It challenges your beliefs, makes you question the status quo, and helps you understand life from perspectives you've never considered. Books can also provide a sense of comfort and wisdom. Imagine picking up a book that speaks to exactly what you're going through. Maybe it's a difficult decision at work, or a relationship issue, or even the pursuit of finding meaning in your life. Somewhere, a writer has captured that very experience, and their words can guide you. The wisdom of others, distilled in books, is a treasure waiting to be unlocked. 2. Seek new and challenging experiences. 
Do you remember the first time you tried something completely out of your comfort zone? The thrill, the nerves, and the sense of accomplishment afterward? There's a joy in stepping into the unknown. Whether it's trying a new hobby, traveling to an unfamiliar place, or learning a new skill, these experiences push you to grow, to adapt, and to see the world in ways you hadn't before. It's easy to stay in our comfort zones, where things feel safe and predictable. But imagine what you're missing when you don't venture beyond the familiar. Think about it. What was the last new thing you tried? How did it make you feel? Maybe it was exhilarating, maybe it was challenging, but no matter the outcome, you grew from it. And that's the magic of new experiences. They transform us even when we don't realize it in the moment. Challenging yourself with new experiences is like lighting a fire of curiosity within. You start asking questions. How can I get better at this? What else can I try? The more you engage with new experiences, the more you begin to crave that feeling of discovery. It's almost nostalgic, taking you back to a time when everything was new, when learning was exciting and endless. Now, imagine applying that mindset to your daily life. What if, instead of sticking to routines, you sought out challenges? It could be something as simple as trying a new type of cuisine, or something more ambitious, like learning a new language. Every new experience adds another layer to your life, making it richer and more textured. And there's always something to learn, even from things that seem small, a different perspective, a new skill, or just the realization that you're capable of more than you thought. Doesn't that make you curious? What's the next adventure waiting for you? 3. Listen to others' perspectives. We've all had those moments where we're deep in conversation, truly listening, and suddenly something clicks. You hear something from someone else's point of view that shifts your own thinking. It's a powerful moment, one that can only happen when you're open to listening, really listening to the people around you. Think about a time when someone shared an idea that made you pause. Maybe it was a friend, a family member, or even a complete stranger. Their perspective offered you something new, something you hadn't considered before. It's nostalgic in a way, reminding you of those deep conversations where you walked away feeling like you'd learned something, not just about the other person, but about yourself. Listening to others' perspectives isn't just about hearing them speak, it's about opening your mind. When you actively listen, you allow yourself to be shaped by the experiences, beliefs, and ideas of those around you. It's a practice of empathy and understanding, and in a world that can often feel divided, taking the time to listen to others can be a rare and valuable gift. Imagine what you could learn if you took the time to really listen to the people in your life. It's not just about agreeing with them, but about understanding where they're coming from. It's about expanding your worldview through the eyes of others. You don't have to adopt their beliefs, but by simply hearing them out, you gain insight that can change how you see the world. Now, think back to the last conversation you had where you truly felt heard, or where you truly listened to someone else. How did it feel? Was there a connection, a deeper understanding? That's the power of listening. It creates bonds, opens minds, and fosters growth. And the curiosity that comes from hearing someone else's perspective is endless. What could you learn from someone if you just took the time to listen? What stories, ideas, or insights are waiting to expand your mind? The next time you're in a conversation, try it. Listen deeply, without judgment, or the need to respond immediately. You might just be surprised at what you learn. Four. Reflect on your daily experiences. Life is a continuous stream of experiences, each one an opportunity for growth. But how often do we take a step back and reflect on what we've learned, what we've felt, and how those experiences shape who we are? In the rush of daily life, it's easy to get caught up in routines without pausing to reflect. Yet, 
reflection is a powerful tool for self-improvement and personal growth. Imagine your typical day, the conversations you've had, the challenges you've faced, and the choices you've made. Every interaction, every decision, holds valuable lessons, but only if you take the time to look back and analyze them. Think about how reflecting on these moments could change your outlook. Maybe you handled a stressful situation with more patience than you realized, or perhaps you missed an opportunity to connect with someone on a deeper level. By reflecting, you gain clarity about your actions, and more importantly, you understand how to improve for the future. Reflection isn't just about analyzing your mistakes, it's about celebrating your progress too. Remember that sense of pride you feel when you look back at something you've achieved. Maybe it's that moment of calm you manage to maintain in a stressful situation. Or perhaps it's the small victories that went unnoticed in the moment, but made a difference in your day. Reflecting on these moments fosters happiness, reminding you that even on tough days, there are accomplishments worth acknowledging. When you think about it, Reflection might take you back to simpler times, when life felt slower, and perhaps you were more in tune with your thoughts and feelings. There's something nostalgic about taking a moment to pause and reflect. It reminds you of those quiet moments of contemplation, sitting under a tree as a kid, or thinking deeply before falling asleep, where the mind wanders and connects the dots of your day. Reflection offers a similar feeling in adulthood, the quiet space where growth truly happens. As you reflect, curiosity naturally stirs. What can you do differently tomorrow? How might you approach that challenge with new insight? How could you communicate better or bring more kindness into your day? Reflection fuels curiosity, driving you to explore new strategies for personal growth. With each reflection, you open the door to self-improvement, one day at a time. 5. Take courses and workshops for skill building. In a world that's constantly evolving, one of the best ways to keep up and even stay ahead is by investing in your own education. Lifelong learning is essential, and while reading regularly helps, actively seeking out courses and workshops can take your growth to the next level. Education doesn't end after school. It's a lifelong pursuit that fuels personal and professional development. Think about the excitement that comes with learning something new. Whether it's a skill that you've been putting off for a while or a completely new subject, there's a sense of happiness and fulfillment that comes from investing in yourself. Imagine the feeling of accomplishment when you finally master something that once seemed difficult. These courses and workshops offer that feeling in a structured way, giving you the tools to build confidence and expertise. Courses and workshops aren't just about learning new information. They offer a chance to connect with others who are on the same journey as you. The community aspect can be incredibly motivating. Do you remember the feeling of attending your first workshop, surrounded by like-minded individuals? That energy in the room, the shared desire for growth, it's something that sticks with you. It might bring back memories of being in a classroom, eager to absorb knowledge, and it stirs that nostalgic feeling of curiosity you had as a student. What's even more exciting is the curiosity that these learning experiences ignite. Every course or workshop opens the door to a world of new possibilities, you start asking questions. How can I apply this new skill in my daily life? How can this knowledge propel me forward in my career or personal life? It's this curiosity that keeps you coming back for more, always seeking the next thing to learn. As you explore these new areas, you'll find yourself growing in ways you never expected. Workshops and courses also provide the structure and accountability that self-study sometimes lacks. Having deadlines, assignments, and the support of an instructor can push you to achieve more than you might on your own. It's that extra push, that accountability, that makes all the difference. And who knows, 
One course could lead you down a path of lifelong passion, turning a hobby into something more. 6. Maintain curiosity to drive. Exploration. Curiosity is the spark that keeps life interesting, that drives exploration and discovery. It's the quality that keeps us learning, questioning and seeking new experiences. Without curiosity, we become stagnant, stuck in our ways and less open to the beauty of the world around us. But with curiosity, everything becomes a new adventure, a chance to grow and expand our horizons. There's something joyful about the childlike wonder that curiosity brings. Do you remember how exciting it was to learn new things as a kid? That pure excitement of discovering something for the first time. The feeling that the world is full of endless possibilities. Maintaining that curiosity as an adult keeps life vibrant and fulfilling. It's that sense of wonder that can bring happiness and fulfillment into even the most mundane tasks turning everyday moments into opportunities for exploration. Curiosity also drives you deeper into the core content of your life. When you're curious, you ask questions, lots of them. You dig into the why and how of things, and that drives you to uncover deeper insights. Think about how many times curiosity has led you to a breakthrough in understanding. Whether it's learning how something works, or exploring a topic you've always been interested in, curiosity makes life richer and more meaningful. There's also a nostalgic aspect to curiosity, especially as you reflect on those moments when you were young and unafraid to ask questions. As we grow older, we sometimes lose that fearless curiosity, afraid that asking questions makes us seem unknowledgeable. But think back to those days when you weren't afraid to ask why at every turn, how refreshing and exciting it felt to be curious without hesitation. By reconnecting with that sense of curiosity, you can reignite that youthful sense of wonder in your everyday life. Curiosity doesn't just help you explore the world, it also pushes you to explore yourself. When was the last time you questioned your own beliefs or examined your habits with a curious eye? Curiosity about your own behavior and mindset leads to self-discovery and ultimately personal growth. It makes you wonder, what else can I learn about myself? How can I change for the better? What new passions or talents might be lying dormant, waiting to be discovered? 7. Practice minimalism for a focused life. In today's fast-paced world, we are constantly bombarded with distractions, whether it's material possessions, digital noise, or endless to-do lists. Practicing minimalism offers an antidote to that chaos. It's about stripping away the unnecessary to make space for what truly matters. Minimalism isn't just about decluttering your physical space. It's about simplifying your entire life so you can focus on what brings true fulfillment. There's a kind of happiness that comes with simplicity. Imagine walking into a clean, uncluttered room, free from the distractions of material possessions. That sense of peace and calm you feel is the essence of minimalism. It allows you to appreciate the things that truly matter without being overwhelmed by the noise. By practicing minimalism, you create space for joy for intentional living and for focusing on the relationships and experiences that make life rich. Minimalism also ties into a deeper understanding of what's truly valuable. When you begin to strip away the excess, you start to appreciate the core content of your life, the relationships, goals and passions that define who you are. It's about removing the distractions so you can focus on what's really important. Think about the last time you let go of something unnecessary, whether it was an old habit, a material possession, or a time-consuming commitment. Didn't it feel freeing, like a weight was lifted? There's also a nostalgic element to minimalism, reminding us of simpler times when we had fewer distractions and fewer things. Maybe it takes you back to a time when life was slower and you found joy in the simple things 
like spending time with loved ones or engaging in a hobby without the pressure of constant notifications. Practicing minimalism reconnects you with that sense of simplicity, bringing a sense of calm and contentment into your life. Minimalism encourages curiosity as well. It makes you question, what do I really need? What brings true value into my life and what can I let go of? These questions lead to a deeper exploration of your priorities and values, helping you craft a life that aligns with your true self. Minimalism isn't about deprivation. It's about intentional living, about choosing quality over quantity in all areas of life. 8. Develop resilience to overcome adversity. In the face of adversity, resilience is not just a desirable trait, it is a necessity. Life inevitably throws curveballs our way. Unexpected challenges that test our mettle and force us to confront our deepest fears and doubts. Developing resilience is about more than just weathering the storm. It's about emerging from it stronger, wiser and more capable. Imagine the moment you faced a significant challenge, a major project at work that didn't go as planned, a personal relationship that fell apart, or a health scare that changed everything. At first, the initial blow might feel overwhelming. It's natural to experience feelings of frustration, sadness or even defeat. But resilience transforms these moments of hardship into opportunities for growth. It's the inner strength that enables you to rise again, to adapt and to find new paths forward. Reflect on a time when you faced adversity and overcame it. Maybe it was a tough academic exam, a career setback, or a personal crisis. In those moments, the pressure felt immense. Yet looking back, you can recognize the growth that came from that experience. Resilience allowed you to face the challenge, learn from it, and move forward with renewed determination. It's this ability to bounce back that fuels your ongoing journey of personal growth and achievement. Resilience is deeply intertwined with happiness. When you're resilient, you develop a sense of confidence in your ability to handle whatever life throws your way. This confidence fosters a more positive outlook, even during tough times. It's like having an internal reservoir of strength that you can draw upon, knowing that no matter how hard things get, you have the capability to navigate through the storm and come out stronger on the other side. Thinking about resilience might bring back memories of past struggles. Perhaps you remember a time when things seemed insurmountable, but you found a way through. There's a certain nostalgia in recalling these past experiences, seeing how far you've come and recognizing the resilience that helped you overcome those challenges. It's a reminder of your own strength and perseverance a personal testament to the power of resilience. Curiosity plays a crucial role in developing resilience. When faced with adversity, asking questions such as what can I learn from this experience or how can I grow from this challenge allows you to explore new solutions and perspectives. Resilience is not a static quality, it evolves as you adapt and grow through your experiences. Curiosity drives you to understand and overcome obstacles, turning adversity into an opportunity for learning and improvement. 9. Cultivate self-discipline for consistency. Self-discipline is the cornerstone of consistency. It's the ability to stay focused and committed to your goals, even when distractions or temptations arise. Developing self-discipline is about more than just willpower, it's about creating habits and routines that support your long-term objectives and help you achieve personal and professional success. Consider the joy and satisfaction that come from achieving a goal through consistent effort. Whether it's maintaining a healthy lifestyle, pursuing a professional ambition, or mastering a new skill, self-discipline is what keeps you on track. Imagine the pride you feel when you look back and see the progress you've made because you stuck with it, even when it was challenging. Self-discipline provides the structure and motivation necessary to turn dreams into reality. Self-discipline is not always easy, 
It requires effort and persistence. There will be times when it's tempting to give up or take shortcuts, but it's in these moments that self-discipline truly shines. It's the force that keeps you moving forward, even when motivation wanes. By cultivating self-discipline, you create a framework for success, allowing you to stay focused on your goals and consistently work toward achieving them. Reflecting on past experiences can reveal how self-discipline has shaped your journey. Maybe you remember a time when sticking to a routine or following through on a commitment was particularly challenging. Looking back, you can see how self-discipline helped you overcome those obstacles and achieve your desired outcomes. There's a sense of nostalgia in recognizing the growth that came from these experiences, a reminder of how far you've come. Curiosity about self-discipline can drive you to explore new strategies and techniques for maintaining consistency. What methods work best for you? How can you adjust your routines to better support your goals? Curiosity encourages you to experiment with different approaches, continually refining your habits to enhance your self-discipline and achieve greater success. 10. Value Quality Over Quantity in Life In a world that often emphasizes accumulation, whether it's possessions, experiences or achievements, Valuing quality over quantity is a refreshing perspective. It's about focusing on what truly matters and finding fulfillment in the meaningful aspects of life rather than getting caught up in the pursuit of more. Think about the happiness that comes from quality experiences and relationships. It's not about having the most friends, but about having deep, meaningful connections with those who truly matter. It's not about owning the most possessions, but about cherishing the items that bring you joy and serve a purpose in your life. Valuing quality over quantity allows you to cultivate a sense of contentment and appreciation for what you have, rather than constantly striving for more. Reflecting on your life might bring up memories of times when quality took precedence over quantity, Perhaps it was a close-knit group of friends who supported you through thick and thin, or a few treasured possessions that hold sentimental value. These memories highlight the importance of focusing on what truly enriches your life, rather than getting caught up in the pursuit of excess. Curiosity about what brings true value into your life can inspire you to seek out experiences and relationships that align with your core values. What makes you feel fulfilled? What aspects of your life bring you the most joy and satisfaction? By exploring these questions, you can shift your focus towards quality, enhancing your overall sense of well-being and contentment. This script aims to take you through a journey of emotions and reflections, encouraging you to explore the core aspects of personal growth. By delving into resilience, self-discipline, and the value of quality, you can discover new ways to enrich your life and achieve your goals. In a world full of distractions and challenges, your ability to bounce back from adversity and stay disciplined can set you apart. If you've watched this far, drop a 100 in the comments below. This shows you're part of the rare few who are committed to pushing through and becoming better each day. Remember, Resilience and self-discipline aren't just traits. They're practices that, once mastered, can significantly elevate your life and achieve your goals. If you're serious about transforming your life and embracing these powerful habits, make sure to join our community by subscribing to our channel. Together, we can navigate the path to personal growth and success. Thanks for tuning in and here's to becoming the best version of yourself, one resilient and disciplined step at a time.